station will be Amsterdam, New York. Our next stop was Amsterdam, New York, built on the shore of the Mohawk River. It seemed like all 22,000 people were there to greet us. Good morning, how are you? Did we get you out of school? Amsterdam's leading industry is video games. Anybody here play Donkey Kong? Well, in Amsterdam, they play it for real. I think there's some people here that are going to show us how to play Donkey Kong. Where's the gorilla? While they were monkeying around, one of Skip's fans gave him a poem. Get a grip on Skip. I like that. Yeah. Who wants to get a grip on me? Where is that lady? We didn't know which Amsterdam damsel wanted to get a grip on Skip, but we saw one fan who thought he should get a grip on himself. While we signed a few more autographs, this lovely local lass summed up our feelings about the people of Amsterdam. Everybody here is real. as we crossed the Hudson River and arrived in the capital city of New York, Albany. As the Mohanesen High School band played a familiar tune, Governor Hugh Carey sent a proclamation, which was read to us by his wife. Nobody worked or went to school on real people day in Albany because it looked like most of them had come here. Thank you. We wished we could have stayed in Albany to enjoy the holiday, but we had work to do. From Albany and Schenectady, we traveled to Pittsville, known as the gateway of Massachusetts. Hello, little people! And in Pittsfield, we were greeted by a group of little real people, the kids at the Early Childhood Development Center. Apparently, the older kids had cut school to meet the train. This young man thought he might learn more coming to the station. We were all anxious to get to Pittsfield because this is where they make the paper that all of our money's printed on. We hoped that maybe they'd be giving away some free samples. Well, they gave us everything but samples of money. Flowers, t-shirts, pizza, but no money. They even gave us a demonstration of Civil War artillery. They set off the town cannon. It was so loud, it woke Rafferty out of a sound sleep. There were signs, young people, older people, little kids, and big kids. We stayed as long as we could, then we had to leave. We signed a lot of paper, but didn't see pictures of one president. They gave lots of love, but no paper money. And on the way out of town, Sarah got a most unusual send-off. To see the moon in the middle of the morning is a bit unique, so you might say Sarah was the butt of another joke. The next station will be Springfield, Massachusetts. Not only were there a lot of real people, but the real people had really gotten dressed up. The Occam High School Band was in full dress uniform.